Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sugaden 2. In the last episode, we got to uh, the Muse border, or we, uh, or the Highland border, or whatever, and we beat him. And uh, yeah, we we're about to siege the castle, but of course, we're not gonna bother right now because we're gonna take on side questing, mainly the cooking side quest. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. One thing I am gonna do for the final battle, or at least, uh, I'm gonna go before we, uh, do anything, I'm gonna get Rio. I mean, I'm gonna get Tur, Mr. McDole. It's about his time to shine. I'm gonna bring him back. Just like someone's bronze is sexy. So, let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Now, what I'm gonna do is add Siegfried. I'm gonna add, uh, what's this, Feather, and I'm gonna add Badayu. And there we go. Let's put you up here. There we go. We're gonna show off a Unite attack. Also, I'm gonna show off the coolness of these two animals. So let's go outside. Now I don't have to worry about rushing or anything like that. Which is nice. Now I did show off Siegfried earlier, uh, but the thing about him was I didn't get a chance to... Oh yeah, let's look at this. This should be pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to... Well, it didn't record for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Got that he's got his own shiny. Well, how does that work? Half damage to all enemies, and one times the damage to flyers. So well, that's not too bad. But if we do a, a unite attack here, let's do a double monster attack and see what that's all about. Unicorn, nicely done. Sadly, now both of them are on balance. But that is pretty nice. See here what this is all about. All ally monsters are berserk, which is pretty awesome. Cause now let's look at this damage that's gonna happen here. Yeah, let's make let's see what this damage is gonna be. It was a thousand four hundred before. Let's see what it's like with two. Oh my god. Dear lord, did you see that? Anyways, let's show off couple of the other things. Let's show off uh, Siegfried's room. Actually, let's unite for the Beastmaster and defend. Go! That's it? Just one guy? That actually would probably be pretty strong now that they're both berserked. Let's defend, defend, let's show off his room, which is pretty awesome. Since he's got, he has his own room, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and they all died. So yeah, he's got his own room, which I think is pretty awesome. It's unique to just him. May, might be one of the true ruin, the holy ruins, but I doubt it. Anyways, uh, let's see here. I guess that's it. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna bother showing off the other, other attacks on his rune. You kind of get the idea. Anyways, let's get another character up. Up uh, next one, I'll probably edit this out. So, uh, who do we want in our group now? Not the big old monster guys, for sure. Let's see, let's put in... Mon Mon Chan. Where is he? Where the hell is he? Here we go. Wakaba. 
gadget. What the hell is gadget? There we go. Wonderful. Let's put in. Where is he? Gentetsu and Bulgan. And we'll see some pretty cool stuff. Uh, yeah, you go here. There we go. Now we're gonna show off two things. Well, actually, there's like three here. Sid Chaco, show up, Victor Flick, Freed, Gengen Gabach, Hannah, Kasume Mondo. I didn't show off that one yet. Anyway, so first unite attack, flash attack. It's all the baldies together. Oh, look at how the power of our bald heads. And that apparently hits everybody, but damages the other guys even more. Alright, so I showed that one off. Oh, what the hell do I got? Gadget. I don't need Gadget. I just need Long Long Chan and Wakaba next. So let's show off the, uh... Wait, how come we can't do... How come Wakaba and uh, Long Long Chan can't do... Oh, they have to be Berserks. Oh, yeah. Both characters must be berserk. How am I going to do that? Let's see if I can, uh... Let's see if I can do that. Oh, nice. Now let's do this United Attack. Twin Fighter damage. Three times one enemy. That's nice. Uh, defend. Let's see what this looks like. Wow. Wow. That is good when you get it. I mean, I know Long Long Chan's on level 99, but that's good. Medicine. All right, I'll do the next one. All right, I got Kasume and Mondo, and then I have Luke, Sas uh, Sasuke, and Futch. We're gonna do two for the price of Uno. Oh, I need to get Vincent and Simone together. Gotta see what that one's all about. Then we're almost we're almost done. Let's see. I already showed off the bandit attack. All right, so uh, let's do your unite attack, cutie boy attack, and ninja attack, and then defend. All right, this is our ninja attack. Oh, not too bad. That's not nice. That is not nice what just happened there. Alright, so, uh... There you go. Alright, we're outside with Bulgan, Bob, and Sierra. We're gonna do a Servant attack, whatever the hell that is. Four times damage to one enemy. Let's see what this is all about. Wow, did that do a lot of damage though to Bulgan and Bob? Bulgan and oh yeah, shit. Damn. So she basically sucks their blood. And 
then, you know, turns them into superhumans or something. That's not bad, but that hurt. Anyways, the interesting thing about, uh, Sierra... ...is that you actually don't get to use that room that she got. Which kind of sucks. Because she took that from the Necrolord, fair and square. She should be able to use it, don't you think? And we should be able to use it as well. So, let us, uh, come over here and pick up the last group of... ...of characters. Now, this is a group of ladies that you can do... ...basically anyone. I'm gonna do ten Gar. You just need three of them. Lorelei. You need Millie. No. Oh. Karen will do too. Millie. And Meg. Now, this is gonna be a pretty girl attack. So you can you have to use Tengar, Millie, and Meg. Or Lorelei, Rena, Karen, or Kasume. Any of these women you can use. And you will do a pretty girl attack. Which is pretty cool, I guess. I guess. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen it. And then after this, this is uh, everything. These are all the... Uh... Oh, no, I didn't... No, I did. Okay, th these will be all the uh, United attacks that I can show off. I can't show off the squid ones. I didn't get squids, so I can't show off one with Vicky. And the squids, I can't show off the ones with all the, uh, with all the squirrels, because I'm not recruiting all the squirrels. Can we get into a battle or no? There we go, wonderful. Let's show off this pretty girl attack. Oh, apparently all I need is these three. I wonder if I already showed this one off now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. Anyways, there you go. So, let's go back in and see if there's any more cooking mini games. Otherwise, maybe I should go look for books or something. I really want to get through all these cooking mini games because it would be really nice if I could. Alright, let's see. Let us see. I should probably... No. What else do I gotta do to get a cooking minigame going? Anyways, let's go into the bathhouse. Look at all these pretty girls. Look at all those pretty girls. Let's leave. Alright, so let me see what we can do next. All right, we're back, and I'm going to look for some books. So the first one I want to look for is in Green Hill Academy. Actually, there's two in Green Hill Academy. And I'm just going to take these ladies with me. Why not? Why the hell not? So let's head over to Green Hill. Green Hill. The hills are alive. Investigate the bookcases. Investigate the bookshelf in the lower left classroom of the first floor on the Green Hill Academy. That's where one book is. Running. Alright, so what was it again? Lower left area bookshelf. Bookshelf, bookshelf. Is it here? Is it here? Hmm. Let me read again. Again, investigating bookshelf in the upper left room. Bookshelves. Here we go. Now let me see. 
After Greenhouse Liberation, speak to the person in the basement of the student dorms. Let's go pick up some books. This might not be as exciting as doing other things, but why not show it, right? I'll try to be as complete as possible, I guess. Should be someone down here. And we get old book volume, that one. Alright, uh... Tiger Mouth Village is the next area. Let us run off there. Then we have to visit Rock Axe, and then Muse. I'm not going to bother getting all the sound sets, but it, it's nice to, uh... It's kind of nice to get, um... All the books, I guess. Tiger Mouth Village, please. Inspect the bookshelves in the house of the lower center. Whoops. Lower center of Tiger Mouth Village. Bookshelves. How about this one? There we go. Old book by me. Now off to Muse or Rock Axe. Probably go to Muse. Spin, 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 spin. Yeah, some of these items are actually drop, or, or like window items and sound set items are actually dropped by, um, <clears throat> they're dropped by enemies and stuff, so I'm not going to get those. Unless they dropped them, in which then I will get them. Alright, speak to the person in the bar after the Muse Liberation. And he gave us Old Book Volume 12. And finally, let's head to the item shop in Rock X. Well, we gotta leave first. And apparently, there are enough. Pe there are a lot of old people uh, that live that end up going back to Muse, which is kind of nice, I guess. Investigate the shelves in the item shop. Item shop is over here. Let's investigate them shelves. Where are they? Here? Nope. Here? Can I go downstairs, maybe? Bam! Old book volume 11. Where does this take me? Out here? I don't care. Yeah, so, yeah, I apologize if this isn't as interesting. You know. Ooh, a Thunder God. Oh my god, this is good! Let's put it in the bag. Same thing with this. Oh, you got two of them? Hot damn. What do you have to sell, sir? Nothing too good. Alright, so let's go give these to the librarian. Maybe we'll get a nice treasure for giving all of her all the books. Although I doubt it. But it's pretty cool to have them, I guess. I went all around the world collecting all these treasures for you. Because books are treasures. Because without books, we have no history to look into. Just like Fahrenheit 4051 or whatever it is. And so we brought them all back. So this is the fifth one we didn't read. This is the birth of the 27 runes. There was darkness, and then darkness shed a tear. That tear, two brothers were born, sword and shield. The sword bragged he could cut anything in, and the shield said he could defend any anything, so they went to war. Sword cut shield, and shield smashed sword. The 
fragments of them rained down stuff and became the stars. And that's how the 27 true runes began. So, actually, the 27 true runes, the first one was the rune of beginning that was also the sword and the shield. The gate rune ward, the grasslands. This is something interesting. Many different people live in the grasslands. There's the Kyra clan, the Chisia clan, and the Free Knights of Camaro. This is this is going to be interesting for the next the next game. And then there's a group of thieves called the Keepers of the Flame. So that's kind of going to be interesting. So here we have all the all the uh, all the hammers, the vegetables. In case you're looking for vegetables, I think I'll eventually do that too. Why not? Livestock list. And then uh, finally the gourmet tour. And this kind of tells us about where we can get recipes from. Which is kind of cool. Alright, so there we go. There's all the books. So I'm going to stop the video here. Hopefully in the next episode we can do some cooking minigames. This has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.